Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's Professor Williams, and I'm going to go over stem and leaf plots real quick this morning. Hope this is going to be helpful. All right, so I have some data here, and it happens to be from the National Weather Service, um, and it's the number of deaths caused by tornadoes in the month of September for the years 1980 through 1994. So when I get ready to create my stem and leaf plot, the first thing I have to do is I have to determine the unit for the stems. So I look at all of my data and I realize that my stem unit is going to be the tens. My leaf unit will be the ones. And this goes back to um, probably what you learned in, in middle school, maybe, right? that this would be the thousand this would be the 100, this would be the 10, this would be the 1, and then we reach our decimal point here and here. So because I look at this data and I see that it's all in the 10s, I'm going to make my stem the 10 and then the leaf will be these ones. So let's deconstruct this data and put it in a stem and leaf plot. So I went ahead and created my stems, just all of my tens from zero to nine, and now I'm going to place each value. So 37 is going to go on this stem, and so it's the 30 plus the seven for the leaf. 26 is going to go to my two stem here. 38 is coming over here to the threes. 19 is coming up here to the 10. 17 is going to come up to the 10. 40 is going here on the 4. 65 comes over here. 19, this is going to look crazy is coming up here to the 10. So in other words, what I'm doing is I'm taking each value and I'm separating it into, you can almost look at it as 70 plus six, where this is your 10 stem and this is your leaf of the ones or the six. And I'm gonna do that for every single observation. I'm simply gonna pull them apart. 26 is going to go on the 20 stem plus a leaf of 6 makes up that 26. 65 is that 60 stem plus the 5. So let's see what it looks like when it's finished. So I've placed all of my observations, um, broken them apart, and put them on the stem and the leaf. You'll notice that on the zero stem, we have no leaves because there are no single digit values here. There didn't happen to be any in the 50s. There were um, some in the six, seven, and eight, but again in the no 90s. So I can literally, every leaf represents an observation. So I have 15 observations here. If I count my stems, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There they are. And I can literally go backwards now because now I know how this was constructed. This was 19, 17, and 19. This was 26 and 26. This was 37, 38, 31, and 30. You see what I'm doing here? I'm taking a stem of 40 and I'm adding the leaf of zero, the stem of 40, adding the leaf of five. Here I have 65 twice. Here I have 76 and here I have 81. So we take our data and we break it apart into stem and leaves, making sure that every observation becomes a leaf. And then if we wanted to, we can come back and we can reconstruct our data set by putting a leaf 
plus a stem gives us a data point. I hope this helped. Have a great day.